This is CMG, and the DMG has a virulent strain of man flu, so I am going to be taking his place today and telling you all about gravestones. DMG sick, CMG here, all good, and here we go. Miniatures, stones, bookcase, guys, blood fountain, cat, door. gravestones and here is his hands and here we have a pizza box thankfully free of pizza this is what we are going to be using to make our gravestones look at that that's very thin I don't know what's happening and here is a mini for scale a mini for scale and let's take our pen try not to stab the mini with it and we are going to draw some gravestones DMG I can't even see DMG's pen, but I can assure you he is drawing some gravestones as we speak. And we're drawing. And we've got the boots of speed on. I know this. I know this one. There we go. Drawing gravestones. Think McDonald's, but sloppy. And there we go. Draw as many as you like. Make them big. Make them small. Get crazy. Get, get creative. And we're going to put him away now. He's going to have a nap. He's served his job well. And grab your Stanley knife. And we're going to cut these guys out, but safety first, be careful. And we're going to cut along this line, cutting, 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 cutting. And there we go. We can put the pizza box away. It's uh, more happy crafting materials for the future. And now we cut out our gravestones with our, uh, with our crafting knife. Cutting, cutting. Yep. Nice one. And we cut some more. This is exciting stuff. Cutting. And more. More of that cutting. This is taking a while. Cutting. And there you have it. Cut out gravestones. And now we take some cardstock. And we trace around our gravestones. There we go. Tracing. Tracing. And yep, just pop them to the side. Conserve paper. Keep on tracing. We're all about the conservation by keeping them as close as possible to each other. And let's number them. Let's number them so we can keep track of them. There we go. Number, number one, number two, number three. We know what comes next, don't we? And just keep on tracing. Just go for it. And now we put on our, I think we put on our boots of speed. We're looking speedy. Yep. There we go. And... Nicely numbered, nicely labelled. We're not going to get confused about anything here. Yep, those are some numbers. <coughs> mm hmm Looking good. All right, now take your uh, skizzers here and just cut them out. But remember to keep them uh, connected while you're cutting them out. It's going to be easy in the next step. Make things a bit easier for you. If you two have boots of speed, maybe uh, it would behoove you to put them on now. And there we go. Nicely done. I don't know why these tombstones are all together, but I'm sure uh, we'll find out. Well, we'll find out together, won't we? Here, DMG is going to demonstrate an engraving technique. All right. So look at that. That is a, a rectangle. So you can see it through the R. Ah, so you can see it through the other side. Okay on the cardstock behind. But here we're going to take some foam and this is the kind of foam that you find in a mouse pad. So you've got a mouse pad lying around, you've got one lying around the office, you know. Maybe it belongs to a co-worker you don't like, maybe just steal it. And here we're going to see the difference when we draw this rectangle onto the foam. Look at that, regular rectangle, you know, nothing up his sleeve. Mm-hmm. And it makes a much greater impression. And here we have, ah, yes, 
Yes, well, this is one of uh, DMG's many toys that he acquired on a recent fact-finding pen-buying mission. An embossing stylus, sorry. A fancy pen. Getting nibby with it. Maybe we need a fine nib for this. To, uh, to the layman. And with many nibs and tips and whatnots attached. Look at that. That is beautiful. And here we are with the pen. And uh, this embossing, with this embossing stylus, you can uh, make a deeper impression without actually having to ever uncap the thing. Look at, th look at that, the DMG tells me. Um, we'll help you etch out inscriptions on your gravestones far more clearly than you could with just a regular old pen. So embossing stylus, it's A-OK. -okay. So onto the foam now. You take your embossing stylus and you are... Uh, Write some inscriptions on your gravestone, you know, whatever you want to write on there. And now we're writing numbers or not. Rest in peace, Aunt Irma. Here lies Fred. He is dead. Whatever you want. It's your world. You are the creator. <laughs> That's just the DMG trying not to expire of cholera. So whatever pithy thing you want to put on there, you know. That's a bit, that's, that's what we're doing here. Draw a skull and crossbones. Have a bit of, bit of blood dripping down. Get gross. Get as gross as you like. Get as punny as you like. It's all about you. To quote Bob Ross, it's your world. You are the creator. Now we can cut these guys up. Okay, we're going to separate them now. It's okay. They're going to be back together soon. They're not worried and neither am I. And here we have some glue stick. And we are going to stick these guys together. Sticking them to the cardboard. All right. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. You see what's happening here. And you massage them together. Bit of that, so that the glue sticks better. There you go. That's going to adhere very nicely. R.I.P. There you go. Or P.I.R. from this angle. It's all happening. Okay. So these bases were made out of one-inch washers. And we uh, featured them in an earlier video. So check that guy out. Um, yeah. So just cut, cut these out. Cut out enough for all of your gravestone bases and just cut around cutting 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 being careful safety first don't cut off your fingers we wouldn't want that not again anyway <laughs> yeah i laugh but uh my bank account's not laughing anyway uh let us <coughs> sorry that's the uh leprosy again grab our hot glue here is our trusty friend hot glue and we're going to hot glue to the bases. We're going to hot glue our gravestones to the bases. That is what is happening here. Yep, there we go. We've added our boots of steel. We're here at the end. We're here at the end already. God, I'm good. Okay. It's a thing of beauty. Look at that. All right. So these gravestones and bases were black bombed. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very technical. Using an airbrush. Uh, but the DMG says you don't have to use an airbrush. He just wanted to be fancy. Um, you can use spray paint if you like. And then what we've done is we've mixed black and white paint together with a sponge, and we are I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the word daubing. We are daubing with a with a sponge onto the gravestone. Look at that. <laughs> that's sorry. That's just the DMG hocking up a lung in the background. Don't worry, he's all good. And we're sponging, getting spongy with it, sponging, sponging, sponging with our trusty boots of steel. Speed. Sp oh, boots of speed. My gosh, how could I get that wrong? Getting a spanking later. Whoa, this is fast. All right, now we have a uh, bucket of sand and a toothpick and some glue. Hot white glue. White glue. The DMG is whispering in my ear. He's up from his sick bed to uh, assist me with this. This handy dandy matchstick. There you go. And we're giving it a bit of a schmear. We're just 
ladling that stuff on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just spread that glue around. This is some very fine sand that we uh, pinched from a local beach recently. Okay, and using our sand applicator, which is a uh, the official scientific term for a used water bottle, we grab some sand and we just, we go for it. We just chuck that sand all over there, like fresh earth around a gravestone, only sandy. And here we go again. Yep. Sandy times. This is why I'm always finding sand in my house. It's all making sense now. Okay. All right. Um, so, yes. So, one of our gravestones, we were going for a bit of a, uh, a broken effect. And um, so, we cut out the rest of the gravestone here and we leave the broken piece here. We're gluing the broken piece up. And we're going to leave it on the base, like some rowdy teenagers come along and just booted a piece of gravestone off. How do you like that? All right. So now we've taken some twine and we're cutting out a, an approximately one inch piece. Um, so we've unraveled it, unraveled a bit there, and we're going to add some hot glue to the ends. There we go. Adding hot glue to the ends. And uh, at the moment, we're having a twine old time with this hot glue and twine. And there's the other end making it ends. All right. Gluing it. This is weirdly hypnotic, watching this glue. Ooh. All right, now we're cutting this guy in half. Try not to stick it to your fingers. If you do though, you know, it's a talking point of parties, isn't it? All right, so we just fray these up a bit make them look a bit more realistic. This is going to be our grass. So grab some green paint and um, paint it any colour you want, really. But um, we're going with acid green. Because why not? Apply a blob, a blob of um, hot glue to the base and stick the grass on. And stick it on in there, which is what she said. Look at that. Fray it some more. Yep, tease it. Tease it like hair in the 80s, go for it. Nice one, DMG. Now we mix some red and uh, brown and uh, we've already got some green paint there, so let's use that. And um, just mix it, mix it all together. Yep, mix that. And uh, we've added some water to just water it down a little and um, paint the base. Floof it on. That's the technical term for it. A uh, bit more floofing. Floof that guy. Using our boots of speed, not boots of steel. Make it a bit hard to walk in boots of steel, wouldn't it? All right. Don't mind if your hands get bedaubed in the process. It's what soap is for. There we go. Look, close up floofing. And then we take a bit of white paint. And we're, we're dry brushing now. We are dry brushing, dry brushing the heck out of these bases. Just to, you know, bit of zhuzh, bit of added effect, bit of that. Have a look at that. A graveyard. DMG style. Ooh, so swirly. And around we go. 360 degrees of gravestones. Watch out for zombies. And there you have it. Gravestones. DMG style. Like button. Rest in peace, boys. Oh, here I am. Well, here he is. Okay, check the DMG out on Facebook and Twitter, or as we call it in Australia, Twitter, as well as the Tabletop Crafters Guild. A happy band of awesome people. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Like button. And you can support this channel financially via the website that you see on screen. Yep, www.thedmg.info slash store. The SheMG enjoys eating, so buy stuff. Goodbye and good luck. Check out my other videos, my other channels. Check out this video that's coming up on the screen. And, um, black button again. 
stuff. Liking it, share, subscribe. Yes, visit the website, please. DMG out.